Okay, YouTube, uh, continuing on with tying up all these loose ends. Wow, I had a screen for this window here. I would sit with my binoculars enjoying nature when we were up on the river and such, and I hated looking through the screen. So I wanted to take it out. I didn't feel like we really needed it, but now it's really hot. In the evening when it cools off, it's super nice to vent cross ventilate through those windows and we don't have a screen. So I would just put the other one back in, but it fit so tight, I couldn't get it out without kinking it. And, and I worked in the window industry for 10 years. I know how to remove a screen, but these screens that came in these vinyl windows fit so tight, I couldn't get them out without bending them. So that one went in the bin, one fourth of the way to having my new one fitted. So uh, I'm gonna, try to get that knocked out right now. So the way these things work, there'll be a clip on this end here, a spring, and when it goes in here, you're supposed to be able to compress the spring and let this side drop in. And the old one was made so big that when you, first off, they fit so tight you couldn't scoot them, and when you did scoot them, it still wouldn't clear on this end and let it out. So I got my clearance there. Hopefully I'll put this all together and get the clips on it and test it before I put the screen material in it because this one is thinner. It has some slack in the slot. So this is a 5 16 screen and this slot will take a 3 8 or a 7 16 I didn't measure the other one. But anyhow, that doesn't affect it being bug tight because there's a ledge in there for it to go up against. So. It'll still be bug tight, but it should be loose enough that I can use the tabs and remove it. It shouldn't be the ongoing problem that it was. I should be able to just remove it when I want to set with the binoculars and put it back in when I'm done. It should be super simple. Uh, and also, guys, the mosquitoes are in full bloom here. I don't know what happened. The corn's getting close to harvest. The beans back there are getting close to harvest, but they're still watering and the mosquitoes are absolutely crazy. Thus, I got my sun shirt on with a t-shirt over top because they could bite me right through the other shirt and um, a half a can of bug, a bug repellent on. <laughs> Fun times. We're in the milk barn, baby. And kind of dark in here, but I do, I have just a couple of lights and the doors are keeping all the mosquitoes out, so. I can work in the dim light. Mm -hmm. So this kit thing's pretty cool because it's made to do a 60 by 60, but uh, for the kit, the corners, the spring clips, cost me 21 bucks. So I'm just guessing if I went to have this made, it would be more than 21 bucks. Halfway there. Okay guys, I'm gonna just put this part way together and you put these little the spring clips in like that, and then they go on here, like that, and I'll go test this and make sure I got the right clearances before I put the other side on. Okay, I went and tested that and it fits just right, so all I gotta do is Put the screen in here, and I got aluminum screen because it's much more durable. But I did find an interesting thing that actually put the spline in the in the frame and the material before they put it in the kit. So the spline that holds the screen in place is already in here, and you just pull it out and put in the screen, and then roll that spline back on top of it. So, never saw that before. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to show you this a little bit, but I don't know. Basically, if you pin your frame down, so I've got it pinned down with a square around it. See that framing square there? And I put that piece of wood on the other side. So, the frame's being held square. And that's the important thing. If you roll the screen in when the uh, frame is crooked, it either won't go in or when it goes in, it'll put a big warble in your screen. So you gotta hold it square. 
and then just take a roller and roll it down in the groove and then put the spline in on top of it. So I've already got those two sides done. So I just got to work it over this way, which the roller will actually help pull it tight. You just got to be careful with it. This roller is actually a little bit big for this job, but it's what I got. So mark the screen down in there and then I'm pushing the screwdriver to get that started to the outside so if the screen gets cut it's on the outside where it's going to get cut off anyhow and then you just use this roller and roll that spline down in there and if you jump off and you land on the inside you ruined it all so got to be pretty careful with this and this is aluminum screen, so it's a little bit... I think it's easier to put it in straight, but it's harder to put it in. So there's that side. i just go do the other side. Trim off the excess. Here's where I've ruined more than one window screen is trimming off the excess. You just got to stay in that groove over there on the edge and behind on the back edge of the spline and not in behind it because you'll cut the spline. So you got to stay right in that spot. There we go. So anybody should be able to do this and make a screen whatever size they want to fit their windows with the spring clips on it so it can pop in and out. Okay guys, so here's the big test. I should be able to pop this in. Even though it's usually, you do it from the inside, that's what the little tabs are for, but I should be able to just put it in here. that push it over oh i'm not tall enough i'm gonna have to go inside well that didn't work i pulled my tab out oh my god bugger shut this yeah I can't tell you how many times I've had to repair those for that reason too because there. it's in actually fits a little tighter than I wanted it to but that's okay I don't have to worry about it blowing out going down the road now so Super cool. So with a little bit of cajoling, I got that baby installed. So we can take that one off the list and we're just one step closer to having all these little tidbits done.